If you search coordinate plane in YouTube, you're going to come up with a ton of different videos that show you all sorts of different ways to put points onto the graph, name points on a graph, all these different vocabulary words. Search YouTube if you want to get a further explanation for them. I want to focus on the area that students tend to make mistakes in. In my experience, these red labels are the things that students confuse. And I would like to simplify them, bring them all into one picture. In all my years of teaching, I do not typically find students struggling with the counting part of naming points on the coordinate plane. All students tend to be able to start at this origin and count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, and know that there's an 8 and a 4 connected with the letter A, that there's a 2 and a 6 connected with the letter B, and that there's a 9 and a 4 connected with the letter C. The problem that they run into is which number goes first? And are either of these numbers supposed to be negative? Our first question is always going to be, starting at the origin, do I go backward or forward? In the case of letter A, I go backwards 8. Backwards is going to be a negative. In the case of letter B, I go backwards 2. Starting at the origin, backwards 2. For letter C, we go forward. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Forward 9. 9 will remain positive. Backwards, negative, forward, positive. And then my second question, do I go up or down? Up, positive, down, negative. Starting at the origin, to get to letter A, we go up four. So here's my point. For letter B, we go down six. Letter C, we go down, 4. To get from the origin to letter C, I'm going down. And I would suggest if you're struggling with your signs, you read out loud directions. Starting at the origin, to get to letter A, I go backwards and up, negative, positive. To get to letter B, I go backwards and down, backwards, negative down, negative. To get to letter C, I go forward and down. Forward, positive, down, negative. That's the only suggestion that I can make for my people that struggle with their signs. Same kind of thing if we're being asked to put points on a graph. For example, put the point 2, negative, Three onto the graph. Put the point negative six one on the graph. Put the point zero five on the graph. I want to be reading these as directions. First number forward. Positive means forward. Negative means backwards. Zero means don't move forward or backward. Second number Negative means down. Positive means up. If there was a zero in the second position, we wouldn't move vertically. So if I read this, start at the origin, go forward two, down three, I don't struggle to, to know which direction they go. Forward two, down three. Second point. Backwards 6, up 1. Third point, don't move left or right, up 5.
right? It all comes from asking the right questions. First question, am I going left, negative, or right, positive? Second question, am I going up, positive, or down, negative? Always in that order. That's why these are called ordered pairs. Hope that helps.